Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Ever Written, and you might be wondering if you've been following the Minions only videos that I've been doing, why I didn't put one up last week. I guess technically there was one up early last week, but that was the end of week five video, and it's actually been, tomorrow will be the end of week seven, so it's been about two weeks since I recorded that one. Uh, the reason is because I'm getting to like midterms in school and it's been a bit busy. I've been keeping up with the account as usual. I just haven't had time to really film a video. So if you're wondering where the week six video is, it doesn't exist. And there wasn't really a whole lot going on in week six. I had unlocked, you know, some of the aim and I hadn't, I think I just finished the Scientist Supreme Blitz and did okay in that one and ended up nearly unlocking her by the time I would have recorded that video um and I don't, don't think I even had gravi graviton then I I don't know there wasn't a whole lot going on but anyways I've, I've gone pretty hard on aim so as you can see this is the top of my roster it's kind of starting to get more mixed I've still got the kind of hydra team I've got almost all of them except for the sniper up here I've got two of the Krees up in my top ten now, but there's also three aims, including Scientist Supreme, who's way up here, and then Graviton, who's number three. Uh, Researcher, I have nearly at five stars, because I've been putting all my arena credits into her, and so she's much higher than she probably normally would be. And then I've also been putting a lot of Blitz into the Monstrosity, but I... Now that I have Graviton, I'm not sure if I'll use him much. Like, I guess he'll probably be used in, like, arenas, maybe, and blitzes, I think, is where a lot of people like him. And if I decide to put them on the offense, of course, I'll take him as well. So I'm going to keep working on him. Um, aim security is, is my lowest. He She should be the highest, but... Or one of the higher ones, but she... Uh, it's taken me a while to gear her out, I think because I geared out, I went real hard on Scientist Supreme, and uh, she's also a tech, but I've got most of the purple, uh, the T3 mats put into her, uh, there's two left on her that I have to do, plus this one, I'm not really sure if I'm going to mess with this one for a while, because it doesn't seem that great to me, I might, I could be wrong, um, Crushing Force, I put T3 mats into. Singularity, I'm going to put something in there because that's insane. Um, he just seems, yeah, he's incredible. Anyways, and then I'd like to get that extra 10% damage down there because, of course, they're lacking a bit of damage. So we'll just kind of flip through here. Researcher, I've got a few more purple, so I've, I'm still working on, on them quite a bit. Um, here's the Assaulter. Uh, he's the last of the uh, six that I have here, and he's, he's, I've, I've really been trying to work on him. He's gear, uh, he's tier eight now, so trying to work on him, because I know he's kind of the crux that makes Researcher and Scientist Supreme really shine. Um, Infector, got it 90 to 100, so Infector is the raid store character that I'm uh, farming and I actually haven't farmed Cree Noble that much it, unfortunately um, because I haven't been focusing on Cree so yeah I've got Infector that I'm I'm hoping to unlock here soon and I've had kind of mixed results from the people that have told about this uh, when I mentioned that it's minions only and then I also mentioned that I'm using some non-minion characters they're, you know, they're like oh well I thought it was minions only I was like well you know what Maybe I will start. I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do some things minions only first, and see like how it goes. So I'm actually I'm excited to unlock Infector because I know everyone hates him, just to see like how awful he really is. Um, Kingpin, I don't really like. I'm not worried too much about him. I think I'll eventually reach his node here. Where is he? At? He's a Nexus. So I'm actually on my way there I might reach it in this video but yeah Cree Noble I haven't done anything with 
because uh, I, like I'm not sure if I've even touched them since the last video. They're a really good team and I really love them. But because I've, you know, the original plan was minions and then aim start. And now I've got the aim. So I've already started on the aim and so I'm just constantly I'm doing both security and assault air nodes every day and stuff like that. And every time I have a chance to get more aim shards, I do because I, I'm enjoying the hell out of that team. I've never played them before either, so it's super fun. Hydras I haven't really touched either. They're kind of, uh, you know, if my aim team fails, then I go to the Hydra team, you know, like in raids. And my alliance has moved up to U6, so it's... It's actually, I'm not able to clear my whole lane, so I do use my Hydra. And then Kree will, if I have like stragglers on a raid node, I'll log into my Kree. Um, my shieldies, I've actually, I have actually started putting ISOs into them just as like prep for later because all these others are at ISO 3 and I'm starting to feel the Ion Crunch, but even Nobu's got 3. I actually put some gear into him today because I'm kind of prepping for the Mystic campaign. I still haven't gone in there. I haven't really cared about that much. There's not, there's not a whole lot in there that I need at this moment, but I'm going to need it soon. Um, I'm actually kind of hoping there's a rumor that there is going to be a hand rework this week. And if that's the case, then I am going to go straight to my hand characters and play them. Uh, I leveled up Assassin, I geared her out a bit today, I put a couple of blues into her. So she's going to be ready as well. So yeah, besides that, my mercs, they're kind of still at the bottom. The only use I have for them really is on my war team and I'm, I'm gonna level them up so that I can have an okay war team. I'm, Kind of waiting for Kingpin to come unlocked to be the fifth. I've been kind of cheating on war and having Taskmaster in there. And I think my alliance is, is like that because, you know, Taskmaster is a beast in war. Otherwise, um, you know, Killmonger, I don't know how I unlocked him. I've, I've opened a few Megas recently and I'm trying to think who I got. I unlocked Scream from the event, which I probably said last time. Oh, I got Ironheart. That's right. And then I unlocked Ghost Rider of the Day just from uh, basic orbs. I opened up a single shard of him and unlocked him. So yeah, I've got Ironheart, Iron Man, Vision. Almost got the makings of a power armor here without really trying. Almost. Um, it's like Miles. All these characters are like one shard. And this is all just, I haven't farmed them at all. This is all just kind of natural shardage. Like I've got 81 carnage shards, which is nuts. Emma Frost, the event's still going on. I think I'll probably end up unlocking her. I'm never going to use her, but I, I just think it's interesting to see how quick you earn these shards. Um, to me, Spider-Man's at 30, so. Yeah, anyways, that's, I, I'm at level 60. Um... Before I decided to make this video, I, was, I realized that I hadn't even cleared uh, Nexus 6. So I was thinking, actually, I'm just going to like, while I, while I talk, I'm just going to let these aims auto. Just so that you can see some aim gameplay. And I mean, this is nothing special. If I had the Infector, I would actually uh, try the aim minions only. Which is the whole point of this. Why I'm lagging so bad? It must be that that YouTube video that's playing the music has the uh, has a video. It's probably causing it. I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna turn that off. No more music. There we go. The lag's gone. So yeah, th this team. I'm I'm genu genuinely impressed by it. just don't like everything they can do like they can punch up real high on the raid nodes that I've been doing like we're in U6 and I think I finished at like rank 7 or something and I'm one of the lowest in my alliance I think they've been slacking a bit but uh yeah we've got an abundance of uh raid shards now because of that 
I've mainly been trying to buy mini uniques for like Scientist Supreme. I just bought mini uniques for today from the war store because I mean besides Graviton there's really I mean I could buy Nobu still but I'm at the Nobu node so there's no point. It depends on what they do to the hand team, like whether or not I'm really gonna like I'd love to put a ton into my hand team and just see what they can do. But yeah, I really like the same team. I definitely think I definitely think that I mean it took me like fifty nine or sixty levels to unlock them. And while I wasn't being like super efficient, like I was playing with only minions, I I really don't know if they're like a good recommendation to start with. Like they're an insane team. Um but I don't know if like I would tell someone new to just go straight to aim. Like I think there's way better options like Wave One Avengers. Anyways, uh while this is kind of fighting on, let me turn the volume down just a smidge. There we go. Hopefully you guys could hear me while I was talking. So the future of the series is uh, a bit in question. There's not been a ton of interest uh, views wise. I don't really know how many I've actually gotten. I haven't checked recently, but I think I've, I've been at like, you know, about 15 to 20 views on all the videos which is fine like i think it's great that anybody's showing interest the last one got 25 views i'm at i'm i'm casually gaining some views but there's not been a ton of interest um i think what most people that check out the videos want to see is actual minions only and um what they can do and i think for that it'll take a little bit longer play time because right now I'm only level 60 I haven't even like I've started to unlock uh, you know gear tier well I'm almost at the point where I can I can start putting t4 abilities into some of these minions and that's kind of the whole thing is I want to get a lot of them up to gear 14 and t4 them and stuff anyways um just some like real life stuff is that I'm, I'm falling slightly behind in school. So I'm going to have to put more f attention on my schoolwork. And then I've also got another kid that's going to be born here within like the next week. And so that's going to hamper my abilities to really make videos. I'm going to try and keep up with the account as best I can, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it as well as I have been. And so I think the videos are still going to come out, but it's probably, they're not going to be as frequent and it's probably going to be like, you know, maybe a month or two in between. So maybe like the next video I might, I might make one just as a point when I hit like 65 or 70, like it's going to, because I've got, I've already got, you know, a couple kids and then I'm going to have a new like a newborn in the house and then I've also got you know university it's not going to work too too I'm not gonna have a ton of free time anybody that has kids can tell you that so uh I think most of my day is just going to be doing like you know the raids the blitzes and a couple arenas just blowing through my energy as fast as I possibly can like you know with the few free minutes I have I'm you know I'm not going to be topping any blitz charts or anything so the account doing it week by week isn't you know it, it could be better or worse based on how much free time that I get that week so I don't think the weekly weekly videos are going to be that interesting anyway so I think what most people probably want to see is end game minions only and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to once I get to like the closer to the end game, once I get some gear on these characters, like Scientist Supreme and Graviton aren't going to get the gear for the T4s. It's going to be the minions. Like that's the whole point. They're just here to kind of make it audible so that I can, you know, sit here and and not pay attention to the screen while I do schoolwork while 
they go through some of these missions and stuff like this. So, um, one thing that would help is if you want to, in the, in the comments of this video down below, if you either comment there, give it a like, or, you know, subscribe to the channel, that will let me know that you are interested in seeing more. And the more people that do that, the more likely I'll be to want to continue and to make videos. Another reason why it's um, that I'm having to put this account slightly on the back burner, not completely, like I'm not wanting to stop it because I'm having a lot of fun with it, and it's kind of a fun in uh, experiment, is the week after I started it, after the first video, I uh, got accepted into Tana, another Mar uh, Marvel Strike Force content creator, his uh, Race for Ultron. And I wasn't actually expecting to get picked for that. I thought there was going to be real high demand. And so I was just, I applied to be a part of it and they got back to me and just said, Hey, you're in. And so I'm actually, I'm having a lot of fun, you know, with those guys and I'm doing uh you'll see one video here and I might do another video here soon just for that one to, uh, before the baby comes just to give an update on that account I'm doing a brotherhood start and I'm basically doing a mini like a s single player race for Magneto because I you know with my calculations um, I'll unlock Magneto with just days to spare if you know I get you know 4.5 mystique shards a day and one saber tooth purchase a day stuff like that like i'll barely barely make magneto and so i'm actually it's pretty exciting to see if i can unlock magneto this early like it'll all i've unlocked magneto within the first like 60 days or something like that definitely within the first 90 and i think that will that'll be a lot of fun especially like in arena and stuff like that having a full brotherhood 2.0 team just to wreck face with and I don't know it really depends on Scopely if they move Magneto up I'll miss him if he comes out around November 30th I'm going to stream on ever written on this twitch link here I'm going to stream me unlocking him uh, hopefully while the baby is sleeping or while you know everyone's sleeping it'll probably be at night anyways yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to get to this Kingpin node. I'm mainly, I'm not really doing it for Kingpin. I guess he's in Nexus like 7, isn't he? So I might not even, oh, I ran out of time. Wait, what happened? Oh, oh, the, uh, <laughs> I was like, the guy, there's no time around these. The guy uh, got 4 or 4, didn't he? Black Widow. Okay, so this is the Venom node. So I got just enough energy to finish this. I was about to say, aim does run out of time, so that's like constantly in the back of my mind. Oh crap, they killed too slowly. Anyways, uh, yeah, so this is the end of the day for this account, so there's not like a whole lot of dailies or blitzes or anything to do. Like, I, there's probably a raid up or something, but I think I'm going to keep the video short. I've kind of shown you my roster where it's at. You get to see, like, you know, a fresh aim team work um, I've kind of enjoyed having several teams that are similar power level because on my race for Ultron uh, account right now I'm really like I'm focusing completely on brotherhood and then I've got a cosmic team and a mystic team and that's it like it, it's kind of like when it comes to like we haven't even started open, unlocked wars yet but when it comes to that i'm not going to have anything you know really to offer um we'll see but yeah I, I feel like i have more to offer on this account now than i originally thought you know once i get all like i've only got what was it four minion or four of my favorited characters left to unlock and two of them are actual minions two of them will be unlocked very soon kingpin will probably be unlocked pretty soon but once i unlock them 
Let's see what this, if I can just auto through this Ultron. It'll be interesting. Ultron's like a secret minion only character that I'd like to try. Because he's a minion lord himself. Anyways, um... I think once I finish giving like, you know, purple mats and blue gear mats and all that stuff to all the minions, which is going to happen within the next probably month or two, then I'll be able to feel fine about giving heroes, you know, the ones I'm not planning on playing, I'll, I'll start actually giving them blue gear, leveling them up a little bit. I'm not going to try, I'm not, I... You know, if my gold is tight, I'm not going to do that at all. But, um, just for, like, the sake of having war teams and offense and stuff like that. Like, right now, I can't even, like, use up all my attacks on shield minions, so. This looks like it's going fine, like, I don't know. It's just full auto. I love how easy the aim team just makes the game. Like they're they're really good. Like I definitely wouldn't start with like recommend them as a start, but I I definitely recommend them like having them. And I actually don't have a full aim team on my main account. Like I've got them unlocked, but they're all like I think they're at like five thousand CP. So I'm probably going to work on them on my main account now that I've played with them. And that was kind of like one of the fun things about this account was trying characters that I don't ever use. Like with the hand, uh, hand rework, I think it'll be interesting to see if hand will be worth leveling. Because, you know, like in Gamma Raids, there's hand nodes. I know there's a Ravager's rework coming sometime next year. A lot of people want Taser Face to be like a fifth Ravager. I don't know. I feel like they should start introducing the like Starhawk. Um, some of like Mark Nex and some of them that were from Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and like they could have them as a Guardians character and a Ravagers, like Guardians and Ravagers, they should make Star-Lord have a Ravagers tag. But yeah, Taser Face would be cool. So yeah, that, I got, I barely touched the uh, mouse and keyboard while I went through Nexus. I just kind of autoed that whole thing. So yeah, here's Nexus 7. This looks like it'll be the same. There's a 53 Wolverine. Let's see what this one is. Yeah, so this is going to largely probably be the same. I might have trouble in this one because they're going to boom boy all over my aims. I'll have to try this. I'll have to try to get to this kingpin node this week. If anything, I, you know, I'm going to be putting resources into them crazily, but I'm actually trying to get to these. These are the thing that I need for Graviton because he's only got one node that he can farm of these phosphates. And as you can see, three aim characters need it, as well as a couple of the other minions. So that's super important. And then, of course, hand assassin shards that I need to eventually unlock as well. So that's exciting, actually. The, I'm going to have this. And these are actually, I need these as well, because I have zero MRIs. Anyways, so yeah, don't expect a, uh, a week eight video. If anything, it'll be like a level, uh, or like an update, or a level 65 or level 70 video. It's possible if the hand are good, I'll do a video where I just, where I play with the hand. But yeah, like war. I've got two attacks. I guess I'll do something in there. And then my raid, I'll have to join these as well. You can see I've kind of gotten, I think today I got, I got up to this Mordo node. I share this with this Tanzo guy on J-Zone. So I think th the three of us kind of got 
I got here and, and ran and my Red Skull just got owned, so. Um, but anyways, I, I'm doing okay when it, in terms of that. I wanted to buy this Grenadier, but I'm going to save it for the Infector. And then I, I've been blowing my war credits on like these things, like 10 of these for Scientist Supreme, but I'll probably have to stop that. And then I've also been buying buying these things like I probably like I don't use mercenary riot guard that much right now or else I would have bought him yeah that's about it for this video so yeah leave a like or a comment if you'd like to see an update to the minions only account uh, like I've said in every video I think so far if you think I should only be using minions let me know because I actually like I'm just looking for some feedback on that that was one of the original uh ideas was to just use these men like these crappy minion characters but then i was running into problems like the mystic campaign where i wouldn't be able to even do them without some other characters so i don't know but anyways thank you for watching and we will see you guys next time